Guys, welcome back and after long last we have the new reference premiere line of subwoofers. Um, I think these are going to be the hottest subs for this year and going forward into next until someone else comes up with something. Um, and that's being said without, without even testing it. This is just going purely off other reviews I've seen and just going through the spec. But let me run you through this quickly. So this is the new reference premier subwoofer range from Clips. There will be a 10 inch, there will be a 12 inch. There will be this one, which is the 14, the RP 1400SW. And then the almighty king, the 16 inch, which will be the RP 1600SW. Um, I will do the video in pieces as they come. Um, we do not have the 16 yet. So I'm a big sub subwoofer boy, so I opted for the 14 inch first. Um, and then we'll get the 16 when it comes in. And I really find it interesting their sizes. Um, they're, really, they're trying to do things that have not been done before, like a 14 inch. Um, you know, SVS the, the 13 inch, and then they've got the 16 inch, and now they've got the 14 inch, and also the 16 inch. Everyone's asking for that 16 inch video and they want me to compare it to the SVS. That will happen, just bear with us. We still need those units to come in. And then on some of the stuff like this, um, they don't get sent to me. I need to buy with my own money. So guys, again, please like, subscribe. I need to start afford affording all this stuff so I can get this out to you so you guys can see the side-by-side -side comparisons. Um, so we'll put this up against the PB16 in any case, and then we'll put the 1600 up against the 16 when that comes. Um, but I'm so excited for these. And price, price. I always said that's going to be the deciding factor between this and SVS. Um, as you know, these things price differently in other countries. In our country, SVS is a premium subwoofer. It is expensive. Um, as I think they're becoming in most countries now, where I always said it's going to depend what this is going to come in at, and they are pricing well. The 12 inch sitting at about 26,000, this is about at 36,000, and then the 16 inch is going to be about 46,000, and that is more than half of the PB16 Ultra. So you can, in theory, have two 16 inch clip subs instead of one 16 inch SVS. Size wise, they are all more or less the same. And already this box, I had to have someone help me bring it in now. This is not a one man subwoofer. Um, you start needing help with this, it is big. But let me stop talking a bunch of um, mumbo jumbo and let's get to unboxing this. I'm actually, I wanna change things a bit. I am going to change my camera angle so you guys don't see me and see more of the product that we are actually doing. Okay, so here we go. So as with subwoofers or speakers, but especially subwoofers, the best way to unbox them is to roll them out of their boxes. Um, unless it's like a PB16 Ultra that you sort of need to push out of the box. If you've not seen that, go back to my PB16 video and go check that out. Packaging, this is very good. We have thick, thick insulation on the side and it looks like there is now, is it another box or is it just something on top? It's something on top. It's heavy. Let's see what this is. Aha! Oh, this is something that clips that's so good on this one. The new grills. Guys, this is stunning, stunning. Um, it is a shape grill. So there's a piece of MDF on here with another piece, and it make when they when they dress it up in the material, it makes the slanted look. This is the nicest grill that I've seen. Let's let's open up this grill. I must say, the more Clips products I am doing reviews on, the more I'm falling in love. This company has grown so much. Look at this. Just look at the beauty of this grill. Nice logo on there. 
inside you can see so it's designed as a bracing piece as you would get inside the sub um i love it i really really love it let's put it to the side okay what else do we have in here we have all the power cables that you might need for all the different countries okay so those i don't use i've got my own proprietary power cables and then you have your booklets your warranty information um your setup guide etc etc so that will stay in the box for when this ever goes on to a um a client the grill i might actually use i think that grill looks so nice but i'll still decide as you guys know i'm not big on using grills but that is very pretty then on top ugh, here we go some more packing material this is packed so well look at this so well Ooh, look at these nice little feet this is a new foot design i've not seen this i'll try and give you guys a better look just now let's first roll this out so i'm going to roll yeah. is really packaged well this must be some of the best packaging that i have seen on a subwoofer very very impressed you just get all of this out of the way look at these pieces very impressed Okay, so now we are upright. Oh, this comes off in four pieces. Okay, now I actually want to turn it around. I want to show you guys that foot. So I'm going to turn it and roll it again. It is it's still in the protective plastic so we are okay just very very gently get this off that off so here we go guys look at this new foot design i really find this very intriguing it is Let's see if I can tilt this so slightly, but the sub is heavy. Look at that. Um, I'll post a little pic as well. It's like a, a long rubber that's been screwed in here, but it's sort of, it's got that decoupling sensation. So I wonder, on this, you won't be able to swap out on the SVS feet because we don't have that threaded insert, but it might not be necessary this looks very very well made some of this must be the best standard foot that i've seen on a subwoofer very impressive okay so let me put the plastic back so i can roll this into its upright position Ugh. difficult sub to move around sure now we need to get that plastic out sure not looking forward to handling the 16 inch if this is the 14 inch Not, we're not off this side, there we go, we're off this side, there we go, sure, got it sure, okay, there we go, 14 inch, 
my first time seeing a 14 inch driver it is sort of yeah <laughs> i see so many subs nowadays and big subs it's sort of difficult to see the difference but that is a 14 inch it's got a very nice rubber to it the finish is very nice it's got that wood ash finish that we get on all the clips on the front it's more of a industrial design that black um, industrial hard wearing power indicator led so you can see that the sub is powered on from your seating position got the copper matching to the driver studs for the grill to go in slot board design much more much neater much neater than on the previous um, SPL range that they had I really like this front design let me show you guys with the grill on what I mean how nicely this finishes off how trick is that look how nicely that shapes that whole unit hey how nice is that I absolutely adore it i love it so nice i might really end up leaving this grill on um okay so let's get to the back business in the front party in the back these feet are nice i can really feel it's got an svs like decoupling to it i really like it <laughs> firstly i love what they did with these knobs and it's got like a magnifying indication glass on the top. It's got that old guitar amplifier vibe going to it. And guys, how nice is this? So, on the volume, it goes from minimum 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 11. <laughs> so, they literally took, let's dial it up to 11 and put it on the amplifier. I love it. What I would have liked is a bit of a, a clicking sensation as you go through the knob to like have a tick, tick, tick to feel it. Um, but still nice, but that would have been a nice touch. And then here you've got your LFE um, and it says LFE or you can go and choose the hertz you want to cross over at. I mostly use LFE. So LFE, I'm not going to dial it up to 11 yet. I will put this on so it looks like there's a mark five and a half is the middle so we'll try and put it more or less in the middle there okay then we have our phases zero 180 play around i always use zero for front of room 184 at the back then we got power on auto standby auto sensing is where i use it very minimalist design i quite like it it's not it's not confusing um, you have a, a double, double, uh, um, the, that is the double A2 port, that's the wireless, that's the wireless connection from clips, if you do want to use that, that you need to set, uh, bu bu uh, no. that you need to purchase separately, the wireless module from clips, then you have the LFE, this can be LFE or left and right, the LFE is mostly what you're going to be using, but that so they've made it very minimalist. There's no hard on off power, so it's just plug it in and then you have your sensing. So very minimalist, but nice. I love what they did on the on the dials and turning it up to 11. So I can't wait to plug this in and test it. That I'm going to be doing next, and I will let you know, guys know what I think of these new units from Clips. Guys, if I can tell you one thing. It is that these new RP subs from Clips are absolutely bonkers. Bonkers. Goosebumps. Look at this. And we've not even gotten to the testing. Um, I'm, I, have to, I have to give a big up to Clips. The two brands in the last two years that have surprised me the most is Polk and Clips. Polk with their new R line, R, um, reserve line and Clips with... Although what they've been doing with their new stuff and now with these subs. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be having a little bit of a boxing match. You guys remember the old sub for boxing matches? We're bringing them back today. And we have a 
big deficits, but let's see. We have in this corner, we have the PB16 Ultra. 1,500 watts, dips down to 13 hertz, 16 inch behemoth coming in at 87 kilograms. That is a proper human weight for a subwoofer. And in this corner, we have the new Clips RP 1400SW, 1000 watts, 14 inch, inch woofer, dips down to 16 hertz. So I know you guys are saying, no, this is not a fair fight. It's not. Um, if we get the 16 inch in, I think that is going to be a fair fight. And I will do the same test again with that. So we can see which 16 is the best 16. Um, but that's going to be a video for another day. Why I'm doing this is I want to show you guys exactly how good these are. Um, if I had to choose something from the SVS stable that is on par with this, I would say um, PB3000 or even PB4000. Um, it's that good. It is that good. Um, in my testing, it's been raining now. Oh, weird thing about that. When I plugged it in first, this thing was overwhelming. I had to put the amp down to like two or three just to sort of get a good response. And weirdly enough, normally when subs play in, they become louder. This came down. This came down a lot. To where I turned it down now, or turned it back up, to... We're still only on four. But I went from two to four. Four... <laughs> and this thing thunders on four. Um, I can't imagine what this would be like with the volume turned up. It is a beast. Um, I watched movies here over the whole weekend and I actually, I got to a point where I thought I'm going to have to reinforce this room. Um, the windows were shaking, the roof was shaking, um, to exactly the extent what that sub, sub, sub does. Um, some points this had a bit more output, it made its presence felt more. That is also the pro why some people would go for the SVS. This is a quieter sub. By quiet, I mean when a scene is quiet, it's quiet, and then the sub hits. Where the clip sub sort of sometimes makes its present felt like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. This is like nothing, nothing, nothing. Wham! Off your feet. So that is where this still wins. Um, another thing on the clip sub for me in the beginning before it was played in. It had a bit of that boom that we used to have on the old 15s, but it went away. The boom went away. It settled down a lot when it, when it played in. Um, it is still a, I wouldn't say boomy sub, but it is more boomy than what you would get with the big SVS. But understandably so. This is a 114,000 Rand sub, and this is a 30, I think it's 34, 35,000. So this is the bargain sub to go for now. I actually chatted to um, Ellen this morning to get in the 12 inch, because um, I wanted to put the 12 inch DN12 up against the 12 inch clips. Alan still said, why not do the 14? The DN12 with the passive radiators comes to about the same. It doesn't, I'm not gonna lie. This absolutely obliterates the DN12. I don't even think two DN12s can get to where this is. This is how much better this is. So I wanna compare 12 inch with 12 inch, and also they price more or less the same, where the 12 inch on the new reference Premier subs, 26,000 and on the DM12, 23,000. So the DM12 is still slightly cheaper, but not by much. It's a, it's a close race. So I want to compare those two subs so we can have a new 12 inch champion. But for now, let's compare these. I'm going to do some base demos so you guys can just see the output. And then I'll chat a bit more to what, what this sub does well. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the bass track. I've turned off the power amplifier, so we're only going to be getting LFE. So we'll crank this up. I will bring the camera around to the sub also, so you guys can see the extension. I want to put the, the little cloth in front so we can see how this moves. 
um, and then also bring it closer so we can hear if there's any cabinet resonance or vibration inside that cabinet that I did have on the old SPL 150, the 15 inch. That was my gripe about that. When you get to a certain volume, you get some port chuff, you get some boom, and it sounds like the cabinet inside is getting to its limits. So let's see if they fixed it on this sub. pushing it that heavy ah there's the end of the song let me just choose another song this thing is an absolute beast and we're not even pushing that heavy and also keep in mind the volume is down low on this thing but no poor chuff i can say there's no poor chuff coming from here this sub can still go a lot but yeah the pressure here is insane it starts it starts to feel starts to feel like that car audio vibe it's insane okay i've now switched over to the pb16 we'll do the same um i'm just going to play it a bit softer just so we can quickly warm up the subwoofer um i never like to drive my speakers hard from the get-go it's like a car it needs to warm up get ready for the race so we're just going to play some tunes through there really uh, how, how low this goes so again guys obviously the clips is not going to get to where this does but i just want to show you how close you can get keeping in mind that you can buy three of those for the price of one of these and even when the new 16 inch clips comes you can still get two 16 inch clips for the price of one SPS PB16 Pro. So, okay, so this looks like it's good. <laughs> Let's crank this, this up. I'm gonna go to the same volume. My roof wants to fall apart. Just wait, that's the quiet section again. This has way more output. Um, that has way more output, but still, guys, to get close, um, I would say that two, if I had to choose my own money, two of these I would buy, and you can get three of them, um, but two of these will be on par with that. So if I had to choose, still to have the PB16 is absolute bragging rights. I mean, you have the behemoth mother of SVS. Um, but Clips is getting close now. And I always said it's gonna come down to price and it does. So if I had to fork out my own money, I would rather take two of those. Or even better, two 16s. I've not heard the 16s, but um, I love myself a 16 inch bass. But what they did for a 14 inch year is absolutely phenomenal. Guys, so if you guys were waiting to see which sub to get, Go get two of these or go get two 16s. But wait, I want to test the 16s first. So don't take my word on the 16. But um, it's close. This is still this is still the beast and the conqueror. But I don't know for how long. I think the days of um, SVS, they're going to have to. Because this has been out for a long time. They're going to have to up their game because Clips is coming. Clips is coming, guys. They want to fight. Um, pro on the PB is you still have the digital where you can actually set this up to perfection, go on the app, do different graphs and all of that, which you can't do with this. You do have your settings at the back, but it's not as involved as you get on the SVS. Um, so you're still paying for that. Um, but 
they are getting so damn close no port chuff no cabinet resonance the new feats on these like i said i don't think these are on svs isolation feats for this i don't feel the need this isolates so well um, but I'm still going to have to sort out this room. This room is not built for cinema. This is my testing room for a lot of different things. But I've got vibrations and stuff that have come out the woodworks now. I'm going to get to climb in here, silicon seal some joints. Um, I have started on some of the roof, um, but I have to sort of do something with the glass. Ah, always more work or more work. To always get more expensive and better. And then there's more work to do. But guys, as you can see from my excitement, slam dunk for clips slam dunk for clips phenomenal let's go one more let's go one more i'm going to switch off the pb switch this back on let's give it one last go where's my phone let's give it one last go let's see if i can find bass i love you let's try it. let's see Just going to forward into it a bit. There we go. Yes. Just want to show you how my house is falling apart. Mighty impressive, <laughs> mighty impressive. Um, that is that is genuinely as close. That is as close as you're going to get to car audio in your in your house. And I can imagine. So I've been playing with an idea. I've been thinking of selling my four DN12s in the Bowers room and replacing them with four of these. I just want to see when the 16 comes how much bigger because this is already a big sub so placement becomes difficult so i think four of these but four of these oh the best bass i heard is in the demo room by homation on the new monitor audio synergy whether it's four of the custom is 15s that's the best bass i heard that sort of makes your eyes vibrate in your skull uh, but i think i think four of these will top that but that might be a video for another day. So if anyone is looking for some DN12s, I just want to keep one on demo. Um, the others can go. Um, they stole my best subwoofer in the 12 inch. Well, that's until we tested this. I'll let you know. That's a test for another video. We'll need to see. That's going to be a boxing match. And then the two 16s, as soon as they come, that's going to be a boxing match. But guys, okay, I'm dragging out now. I hope you enjoyed this. The new RP line from subs, of the new RP line of subs from Clips, I can't give them enough thumbs up. Plenty thumbs up, all the thumbs up, just up. Amazing. Till the next video, guys. Cheers. Bye.